Yo, hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, this is gonna be a pretty quick video. Um, I know I've already talked about the cruise a ton of times in the last couple of videos, and guess what? It's almost here. It's like seven days away, so I'm like really looking forward to going on my cruise, which is why I'm wearing my shirt. I'll be wearing this when I board the ship. I know it's kind of corny, and that's exactly why I'm wearing it. Um, but I ended up buying something I wasn't really kind of planning to buy, but sort of bought just because it actually worked out really perfectly. Um, I've been going back and forth on the idea of taking my, my uh, DSLR, my 70D, which I'm filming with right now, on the cruise because uh, we're going to be going to a lot of places. We're going to uh, Cozumel, Roatan, and Belize, and you know, a lot of the activities I'm going to be doing involve uh, being around water, sand, stuff like that. And so I was kind of nervous about taking uh, a bigger, bulkier camera with me on the cruise. I mean, of course, on the ship, it's not going to be that bad, but once we go to those excursions to those destinations, um, I didn't know that I wanted to be, you know, carrying the larger camera around. It's fine when I'm around the city, for, you know, around regular areas, but a little bit more cumbersome uh, on something like that. Well, it just so happens that Canon decided to make their first mirrorless uh, camera that has uh, the ability to shoot in 4K. Now, I don't really even shoot in 4K that often, but just having the op option of shooting in 4K to me was really important. And secondly, I wanted one that could have the flip out screen. So long story short, I ordered this thing. I pre-ordered it basically online. It wasn't supposed to arrive until Monday. I leave for the cruise uh, the following Sunday. Um, so it just worked out perfectly. I'm gonna have a smaller uh, camera, um, still be able to get the quality that I would get from the DSLR for the most part and it will not be as much to, to haul around. So, doing a quick unboxing. Uh, I know lately, like most of my videos have been unboxing videos. Uh, I have been filming a lot of stuff, I just haven't gotten the chance to edit all of it, unfortunately. Um, but hopefully by the next time you guys see me after this video, uh, I'll have a lot of really cool stuff to share with you guys from the cruise. So, like I said, I'll make this a short video, um, but I just wanted to do the unboxing of this, this camera. On a side note, I'll also be taking with me a couple of GoPros, my Sony Action Cam. I wanted to take the drone, uh, kind of the reason I even bought the Mavic Air was so that I could take it on the cruise, and as it turns out, you can't take a drone on the cruise ship. Uh, even if you're not using it on the cruise ship, you just can't take it at all. Um, but yeah, so here's the uh, Canon M50 uh, mirrorless. I went ahead and got the one that came with the lens, even though I have an assortment of lenses, I wanted to see you know, how the lens that it was, that was designed to go with the camera works. So let's see what all is in here. If I can get the box open. All right, let's see, let's see. Standard stuff, we got the book. Neck strap is much smaller than that of a DSLR. I guess it kind of makes sense. Uh, wow, this is the camera body itself. Charger, and I actually already also got delivered. I ordered a couple extra batteries, so it comes with the battery, but I went ahead and ordered two more, and those actually came in a few days ago. Um, but I haven't been able to charge them yet because I didn't have a charger, and that would be the lens. So, let's see. Let's see here camera body feels pretty solid nice and compact which is uh, exactly what I wanted it for um, it has a hot shoe so I should be able to mount my uh, um, road mic on here that's sitting back there um, I actually think it's kind of cool that it came with this little thing that uh, holds it that covers it none of the DSLRs I've purchased in the past have come with that uh, Nice and compact. So, I mean, until I actually try this thing out, I don't really have a whole lot to say about it. Like I said, this is gonna be a quick video. Um, the screen is literally like the size of the whole back of the camera almost. Like, really good size screen on here. Uh, let me pop the lens on here. And we'll see if there's any charge on this battery as well. If so, at least uh, pop the battery in and just kinda 
navigate maybe through the menus a little bit. I don't have a memory card sitting nearby to actually test it out and take any photos. Um, again, I like that everything on this is just nice and compact. I'm hoping that I can get some really good stuff with this while I'm on the cruise. All right. Let's see real quick if, uh, like I said, if the battery has any juice in it. Or not. Sometimes they come charged, sometimes they don't. I can hear my neighbors in the background. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear that once I uh, edit this video. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Power. Oh, awesome, it is on already. So, um, I'm not going to bore you guys with this. Maybe I'll skip through this on the edit because I got to set all the time and date and all that kind of stuff. So, I'm going to do that real quick. Uh, today's date is Saturday, March 24th. Oh, interesting. So right here, this is like a little lock for the lens. So like if I try to rotate it right now to zoom in and out, I can't. But if I push this little thing forward right there, um, I can. Okay, tap to to apply effects, press the creative assist. Looks like I'm going to have a little bit of a learning curve with this camera. Um, All right. It's telling me there's no card in the camera, which I obviously know. So like I said, this isn't gonna be a long video. Um, I just wanted to do the unboxing on camera uh, so you guys didn't see this camera just like pop out out of the blue and wonder when I got it. Uh, interesting, now I can't figure out how to make the lens go back in. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. It's touch screen. Um, I think it's going to be perfect for for vlogging and for shooting video in general. Uh, it's actually following my face really well. Yeah, this is going to be awesome. Looking forward to using it. So, um, yeah, I, you know, I always ask you guys if you have any questions for me, but nobody's really putting any comments on my videos. I know my videos aren't getting a ton of views yet. Who knows if you're watching this fast forward a year or two from now, I don't know. But uh, as always, ask me any questions you want in the comments. Uh, hit me on Facebook, Twitter, Insta, uh, I am, um, whatever. Hit me anywhere you want. All my social media is going to be listed below this video. Uh, check out my photography website, which will also be listed below this video. Um, if you're in and around the Houston area and you're interested in collaborating on some projects with me, uh, whether it's photography or videography, or music videos or anything like that, you know, hit me up. I, I might be interested or try to meet up and make some time. And even if you're not super local to me, if you're still in Texas or actually, I don't even really care if you're in the US, wherever, if I can uh, make the time to come out and meet you, visit you, uh, collaborate on a project and uh, work on something together, I think that would be really awesome um, to, you know, kind of start branching out and doing some other things. I'm doing a ton of traveling this year. Uh, I'm, I'm going to San Francisco, I'm going to New York, I'm going to Las Vegas, Colorado. Uh, New Orleans, um, Portland, Oregon, uh, I think South Carolina, uh, a whole lot of places. So um, if you're in any of those places, comment below. Maybe I can uh, meet up while I'm there. So uh, until then, I'll catch you later, guys.